Uh, probably my main credit is I founded Playbill.com. Uh, I've always been interested in theater since I was a teenager. And I've also been interested in journalism. I would call myself a hardcore journalist. I actually had training at, started doing police news and you know cops and fire news and, uh, uh, and with the idea that I really wanted to have real journalistic chops before I specialized in theater. And my dream had always been to, um, I, I didn't understand why, for instance, in New York, where, I, where I'm based, um, why the newspapers in New York did not put theater on the front page. <laughs> At the same, well, you laugh, but they put sports on the front page, they put business on the front page, they put politics on the front page. In New York, the theater is a major engine of the economy in that city. And I didn't understand why they didn't cover it. And so I kind of had a dream that someday I'd like to start a newspaper that put theater on the front page every day. Maybe a th newspaper that was only theater. And that was just kind of a dream for a long time until um, the web came along. And when the web came along, suddenly I realized that I could create this daily newspaper of theater that did not rely on 12-year-olds on bicycles to deliver it. It could be delivered every place simultaneously. And so I, be, I got involved with that. And um, I've, over the years, I've also written uh, 19 books on the performing arts, including one in collaboration with uh, the lovely Lisa Wong right there. <laughs> I also wrote one on, on golf. Don't ask me how that happened. Um, uh, I was, I was a... a Tony voter for more than 20 years, and I was on the Tony nominating committee for three years, which was a, a great honor for me. And I've done a lot of other theater related. I've seen more than 2,000 shows on Broadway, and I've seen plays all over the world, uh, including in China, which we were just discussing before. I didn't tell you I had actually. No, I didn't know, but. Yes, I actually saw a tractor opera when I was in Shanghai. <laughs> um, in fact, when they did tractor opera. Um, and just. Uh, that my two interests were theater and journalism, and I found a way to put those things together, and that's why I'm sitting here today.